all right let's go yeah so i've kind of talked about like my lack of interest in sports and not really paying attention to stuff that's going on but but regardless I still pay attention somewhat and this is probably another example of why I shouldn't be paying attention to sports and why I shouldn't be watching so the much rumored deal with uh, Jimbo Fisher leaving Florida State to go to Texas A&M was officially announced today now I'm not an insider and I don't percent I don't pretend to be an insider here but to me as a as a lifelong Seminole fan to me this is a weak move this channel that I'm I, I'm on here this what I do normally has nothing to do with sports I normally don't get into sports but I gotta go on a little bit of a rant here about Jimbo Fisher because because I tell you what it's pretty obvious that when the Seminoles were on their decline prior right right when you know in the midst of Jimbo coming in and and they was kind of going through that kind of swing where you know Bobby Bowden was on his way out and then Jimbo came in and and they was kind of struggling right the one constant theme there was that the other schools in the area were out recruiting USF at the time was actually playing some pretty good ball they were doing pretty good for a little stretch the University of Florida with Tim Tebow during that era yeah they were doing pretty good completely out recruiting the Seminoles Miami doing eh, all right you know Miami wasn't great but nevertheless there was some competition there so let's fast forward a little bit the Seminoles start doing well they get on the upswing and to be honest with you to be real under Jimbo Fisher I mean really we had 2013 with Jameis 2014 which was actually you know going into that season we lost a lot of seniors a lot of those guys went to the pros um, so it was almost a refresh so really 2013 was that was his year he had to win that year and that was with uh, you know a redshirt freshman Jameis Winston as the QB that year so Jameis comes back the next year with a very young team that was Dalvin Cook's really his first year to really you know jump on the stage um, after Devontae Freeman left so so let's be real here about one thing real quick Jimbo Fisher really didn't do squat with the Seminoles other than one really good year in which Jameis Winston completely led that team and did what he did I'm a huge Jameis Winston fan in case you ain't already know this but my point is, is you look at the landscape right now, and when I look at the Seminoles, right, the Tallahassee, so I'm looking at Alabama, I'm looking at, you know, Georgia, Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina, I'm looking at the whole surrounding area when you're talking about recruiting kids, trying to get them to come to Florida State. And right now, let's be honest, Clemson is doing it big, okay? I'm not a Clemson fan, but I live here in North Carolina now. Clemson is killing it, right? They... You know, Dabu Sweeney, Swooney, Sweeney, whatever his name is. This dude is killing it right now. Their whole their whole setup there at Clemson is, is just unbelievable. So now you got Miami, right? Miami's coming back up. You got UCF coming up now. UCF's actually playing some pretty good ball. USF, halfway decent. They doing all right. So to me, and then, of course, you know, include your usual Auburn, Alabama, right? They always going to get dudes up there, LSU. So, to me, this is just a weak move on Jimbo's part, right? He's going to a state right now that I don't care what anybody says. I don't live in the state of Texas. But right now, the, the, the current state of football in Texas is pretty weak. I mean, the University of Texas, Baylor, um, uh, Houston, um, Oh my goodness, what is it? TCU. Um, and then obviously Texas AM has been down a little bit. You know, even when Johnny Menzel was there and they were kind of like starting to shine a little bit, they wasn't they wasn't killing it. So so here we go. Jimbo Fisher's gonna go to a state right now where the recruiting the recruiting class is a little bit weak, right? He can pretty much jump in there. I mean, obviously you got your Midwest teams that he's gonna have to compete with for recruiting. But 
I mean, other than Ohio State and, you know, the rest of that kind of surrounding area, what do you got? I, again, I'm not from Texas, so, yeah, I'm a little bit ignorant on that, but but let's be real. Right now, he's facing a tougher competition in recruiting at Tallahassee with the surrounding teams he's got than if he goes to Texas A&M and he swoops in there. I guarantee you, guarantee you that Jimbo Fisher goes there. He gets some good recruiting classes over the next year or two. And within, I'm, I'm going to say within four to five years, they're making a serious run for a national championship. It could be sooner than that because they've already got some talent there. But if he starts really, really bringing in some serious recruits, within four to five years, Jimbo Fisher is running for a national championship at Texas A&M. And then who knows what goes on from there. But to me, this is a weak move. I love Jimbo Fisher. I, I, honestly, I really do love him. I'm not like a lot of stupid Seminole fans that have been wanting to run him out just like they wanted to run uh, Bobby. Oh, my goodness. It just it just irritates me right now. I, I'm so flabbergasted right now at the fact that – and trust me, man, I don't blame coaches when they do this because there's no loyalty by the university. You think that the Seminoles are going to have loyalty to him? You think they had loyalty to, you know, to Bobby Bowden? You think they was loyal to him? No. They didn't let him go out how he wanted to. They pushed him out. And to be fair, the Seminoles needed something to happen, right? I mean, they're getting out recruited. They, you know, they, they need something to change in Tallahassee because this year was absolutely ridiculous. Other Again, other than 2013, it's been a joke. It really it really has been a joke. As a Seminole fan, it's been a joke. And again, this is why I'm kind of been breaking away from sports in general because it's just a it's just a bunch of nonsense. It really is. It's a bunch of nonsense. So nevertheless, I know for the people that, you know, which ain't many that normally watch this channel, this is not what I do. This is not what I talk about. It's not what I go on about. But I had I had to talk about this because I'm a big time Seminole fan. I've always been a Seminole fan. I'll always be a Seminole fan. I ain't one of those bandwagon fans like